All right, so uh, let's do a uh, UV map uh, fix on uh, our object. And let's take a look at what we can do uh, with uh, setting it up so that uh, the wood follows along the grain and not across the grain. So um, we can um, do our selection first. And um, let's go in the UV editing tab right here. Okay, and what we're going to do here is kind of simplify this process by, um, as you can see, uh, there's a little bit of um, uh, issue with the uh, shape uh, in the UV map. Uh, it's not kind of following. It's you can tell right here it's stretched though because those are the uh, decorative indents right here. So. And we're going to simplify the process. So I'm going to go to my front view here. So I'm going to uh, select all the faces here. And uh, I'm simply going to do um, project from view. All right. So while I'm selecting this, you can see from the uh, UV map right here that it's populating it. And it's kind of compressed right here. Hence, you see it looking a little kind of funky, more like a uh, plywood look to it okay and of course there's uh we can add those as well right there they're kind of flat enough but there's a ridge right here that we have to change uh, later on but for now we're going to use this one so i'm just going to write uh press u to unwrap and simply go to project from view watch what happens here all right, as you can see, it's exactly, it's almost like one-to-one. -one. So I'm going to press A right here. And I'm going to use more of the wood. Uh, so I'm just going to simply scale this, or you know, you can snap fit. Um, all right, right there. Okay, and then we got that kind of pattern going on already. Okay, so let's finish this up by selecting this part right here, which um, I'm going to alt-click one of the edges right here it's going to select it all the way around okay I'm going to do the same thing uh, I'm going to go to the top you're not going to see it but uh, that's what it looks like right there and I'm going to go U project from view and we got the same thing right here I'm going to press A and scale it All right, there's several ways you can actually do this properly because the wood right here will be along the grain here or across it. So that's supposed to be a cut and you can, you know, fix it by selecting those. So let's kind of do that. So I can select it, but I will select it right here so you could see what's actually being fixed. Uh, let me go turn off my x-ray and we can select it on both sides right here all right there it is and simply we just need to rotate this so R90 and now uh, we're getting kind of like the correct grain right there and what you can do also is uh, you can move this about you can scale them just kind of maximizing the map all right and right here and you can really arrange this where you can, you know, because we're using an existing map. If we are using, let's say, say uh, image editing like Photoshop to kind of lay out our UV first and then draw the texture around it, then you want this all neatly positioned so you're not wasting any space in this uh, square aspect image. All right, so there's that. Okay. And of course, you can make it a little bit more, um, you know, compressed depending on what you plan to do. This is a um, seamless texture. So if I go to my shading right here, I got it all kind of set up for um, for repeating. So um, this is with a Node Wrangler video. If you guys watch that, uh, I can go here two by two, and simply increases that. But it didn't look too good right here with our repeating pattern. So. I'm going to change this back to one okay and you, I'm just going to slide this over so if you want you know it kind of repeats it so it's a one way it's kind of watch those knot on this fine furniture I don't think you'll have knotted wood but anyway 
All right, we're gonna leave the one right here. Just want to show you that you can, depending on which one you pick. All right, and let me connect my uh, uh, my normal right here. Wait for that to kind of get going. All right, and um, change this to non-color. Change this to non-color also. All right. So let's see here if we could see striped. All right, there it is. It's a little bit just so that we see some texture in there. You might notice also we're still getting some uh, stretching because it projected from view, and this is such a, at a weird angle. And of course, you can correct this one. You can also select just those. And you can select that all the way around if you want to kind of make sure those things are stretched. Um, you can um, unwrap that. Press U and unwrap. Okay, it will just, you know, kind of put it all kind of together like so and um, kind of make it flat. So you don't need to. Uh, um, unstretch it or whatever but I think for our purpose I'm just gonna leave it like you can kinda you can fix those later so we're just here to kinda fix the overall kinda um, look of what's happening so I'm gonna do the same thing here control plus on the numpad to increase the selection okay and I think that's all I can do right there and go here and select that side and as you can see here so it's not looking like with the shape right here yeah so I'm gonna press U project from view and we get that press A scale it make sure it's all in there try avoid knots and whatnot so all right uh, this might not be the correct one we probably need to go longer on this so R90 just so that it's uh, it's along the wood, you know, along the grain right there. All right, so and what else here? Maybe this one, same kind of deal. R ninety. Gonna position it here or somewhere. All right, and. Same thing here, control plus on the numpad. Be careful that your selection doesn't bleed over to the other side. So, uh, it's probably fine on that one. Okay, right there, press U, project from view. Okay, and uh, one more right here. So, select those, and you want to be. Um, on an orthographic here because you are projecting from view. Okay, that one right there, and you project from view. Basically, you're UV mapping based on the viewport, so that's what that means. All right, and let's say the top. We can just simply unwrap this. Okay, use the entire thing, but the aspect ratio, of course, it's. Uh, oh. I did not mean to do that. Uh, press U, unwrap. All right, so aspect ratio right here is uh, uh, not correct. So, oh, it's the other way. Okay. Probably like that, then R90 and rotate it. Okay, maybe something like that. All right, and what else can we do to kind of enhance the the model a bit? Uh, I have those edges selected right there. So I want to bevel them, but before that, if you remember our lesson on apply and transform, apply all transform in object mode, that would be a good time to do. Um, I'm just gonna go all transform so that it remembers all that stuff. So that when we apply our bevel here, um, it will know that this is now the shape so just kind of soften that edge a bit okay 
And if you want to add segments, maybe there's a few right there, okay? And uh, where else we're, would be kind of sharp, maybe here. We'll do the same thing. It remembers the number of bevel. Okay, so just kind of softening it a bit, okay? Go to our shading here. Strength is too much. All right. Let's take a look what it looks like in the EV. Okay, maybe put a light in here, see better. So I increase this one. Then. Just so that we can see the top and whatnot. So increase the wattage. Okay. All right, so I might need to um, scale it up a bit uh, to lower the grain count uh, or use a different texture. So this is just something I downloaded previously. So there's probably something a little bit more appropriate for this one. All right, so that's how you fix those UV map. Uh, if you just want it, you know, just using something cubic, and you could also do cube projection. However, that will you, know, you might need to uh, select certain parts to kind of fix. It might be longer or shorter. You can also try that, uh, but this is Project From View.